All right, today, since we've got our three views, we're going to go back and make a three-dimensional model so we can get an isometric view of this. I have here just a completed top view from our initial drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to orbit to just turn just a little bit so I can get a, an angled view. We're going to end up using the push-pull tool, so I need to get a good angle to do it with. I'm going to select the object. I'm going to have to select Explode to take it back apart. Now I can select individual pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top piece right here. I'm going to select the push-pull tool. I'm going to bring it up a little. And from our measurements before, this was 8 inches high. So I'm going to type 8, Enter. I'm going to select the middle section. And from ours before, this was 6 inches high. So I'm going to pull it up 6 inches. And from the last bit, we just did our front view. So you remember this was 3 inches high. So we're just going to pull it up 3 inches and hit Enter. Just by doing those three things, we've got ourselves a three-dimensional three model. And we can look around and see our views. So if I continue the orbit, if I pull it up this way, all of a sudden, this side view looks awfully familiar. This looks like the front view we just did. This looks an awful lot like the top view that we did. So that's why we call them those views. There we go. I call that top. Looks just like when we started. And now we've got our three-dimensional model. We're eventually going to want to get the isometric view so we can have a nice look at our object. I'm going to get rid of the axes. And now you can see the object just like we had it on the screen.